Alright, today I'm going to be uh, flashing this used engine control module uh, on a, uh, it's a Chevy Malibu, let me get the year, I forgot. The year is uh, 2012. Um, I ha haven't had too much luck with Tech Connect, the new Tech Connect system from AC Delco and used modules. So uh, we're going to see how it's going to go. I have logged into my account and I have one available VIN. So I'm going to go down here to the bottom. I'm going to add VIN and it's going to pop up the uh, kind of like the old SPS. It's going to pop up something. Now I've already got it downloaded and installed, so I'm going to hit launch. And now it's going to open up the native program that's on your computer. I know one of the big problems they've been having lately is people try to open the Tech Connect from the icon on the desktop. It doesn't work. You have to come into it this way. So you might as well just delete that icon so that you uh, don't make that mistake. Um, I got my switch turned on. I'm going to turn the automatic lights off. Uh, I also I have a battery maintainer hooked up. I think it's at 10 amps. That, that should be enough to hold the battery up. And I will be using a old Kardec 2 Plus. So I'm going to click Connect to Vehicle. I'm going to select my pass-through device, which is the Kardec. Uh, it has to flash because I was just doing Chrysler this morning. Alright, so I see the other VIN number here is for 2008. And that is not going to be right, so we have to go, I think, here. SPS2. And this thing is going to complain a lot because I'm going to try to change the VIN number. I forgot how you have to change the VIN numbers. It's a lot different than the original SBS. I think I actually I had to do it at the beginning. So I, m I might have to start over. Alright, so let's manually enter the VIN. And it's not letting me, let's see if it's going to let me type. No, it's, it's not letting me type. So, let's close this. And let's go back here. Now we will enter the correct VIN. Which, let's see if I have it here. Okay, so it's, uh, one, one G1. ZC5, ZC5, E06, E06, CF12, CF12, 0884, 0884. And now we're going to select that. We're going, now see it popped up an error saying uh, wrong VIN, blah, 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 because the VIN that it's reading from the ECU is this old VIN here. So we're going to override that. Now we're going to click on SPS2. We're going to hit override, we already know. We're going to select replace and program, not just program, we have to replace and program. And then we're going to come down here and hit next. So we have the correct VIN in that spot now. So it should, should be good. We hit next. Uh, now it's showing us our calibration information. Oh, I'm sorry, it's showing us the different modules we can program. I don't know what happened to my focus. Sorry. Alright, so I'm going to select engine control module, ECM. 
because that's what we are replacing. Now it should show us our uh, calibration information. And sometimes they have different calibrations. Um, it's telling me it's going to take my VIN slot. That, that's, I know that. Proceed. Uh, this will probably only have the main calibration they're going to let you change to. We'll see. Yeah, so they, this one only has one calibration they're going to let, let us use. A new device was connected whose reported been. Please disconnect. So I don't want to accept. It wants me to disconnect and redo. So I want to override. And now I want to hit next. Now I'm going to start program. Now generally it will go through the program until the very end and then it will give me an error message for use module. New modules, I haven't had any problems at all. Only use modules. So I'm hoping this is going to work. Let's see what kind of time it takes. I think it takes a lot longer with this system to program modules than it did with the original one. And it's like twice as long. It's crazy. So I'm going to see here. You, usually this is a pretty quick process with the uh, old system. And uh, currently it hasn't even haven't even started yet. It's still connecting to the vehicle so. um, I see the car deck is working. Okay, there it goes. It's starting to program now. All right, so we're getting down to the final few seconds here. I guess all in all, it took about uh, about eight minutes, probably. So not not too bad. Alright, so the timer is up. Now it's just uh, finishing up. Uh, probably we'll see the dash click on and off. Yeah, it just clicked on and off. So it actually programmed. It went all the way through. It went through complete. That is awesome. Uh, I took my VIN. That's been updated. Well, why did it do this? I wanted to proceed. What? What the hell? I guess I accidentally clicked the, uh, I guess I accidentally clicked it. Okay, so I'm going to go to proceed with the same VIN. Well, actually, you know, the security light's not on. Let me turn it off, turn it back on, and make sure I got to program the key. Yeah, okay. So, now we're going to go proceed with the same VIN. We're going to go here to VTD, Vehicle Theft Deterrent System. We're going to go next. Uh, vehicle theft deterrent for learning replacement keys? No. So we want vehicle theft deterrent for replacing the powertrain system. Since we replaced the PCM. Which is powertrain control module. Now this will be a 12 minute wait. Uh, it's just the security wait they, they, you know, they make you do. And I am using the original key. I'm not using a new key. Okay, so we, we see the uh, calibration data it tells you about. I hit next. Yeah, start programming. All right, now we have our 12 minute wait. So I'm gonna pause this and pick back up once it's done. 
so we are just about done uh, with our key programming. Just gotta wait a little bit longer. And then we should see the dash, you know, flick on and off again. So we have gone back to our main screen. We'll see the dash come on and off. Or actually, it didn't. It just went right back to the warranty screen. So uh, now we will turn it off. And we will turn it back on, and we should see our security light there go out, which it did. We should be able to crank it. So it started and cut off. And started and cut off, but that, that is not a problem with the car. That is a problem with, uh, I mean, that's not a problem with what we've done. That's a problem with the car here. There we go. Now it's running running really really rough see our traction light come on our engine light still on see the uh, engine shaking pretty bad there so I, I don't know if that's what they were trying to fix with the new ECU or I really don't know I don't ask questions people tell me to program a computer I program the computer uh, that is the uh, new SPS2 Tech Connect uh, in in use there, and it actually pulled through for me. So maybe they have worked out all the kinks, and if they have, uh, it's actually a pretty nice system. Uh, m much easier to use all your data in one place, you know, for their old AC Delco system. Um, so I, I'm actually going to be looking forward to it if, if they've got all the kings worked out.